William Byron has come a long way. He has come a long way since his rookie year back in 2018. Let's start from the beginning. William Byron started off with late models, and then he did some East racing, and then he did trucks, dominating, spanking the competition back in 2016. And even though he blew up his engine at Phoenix, um, Johnny Sauter was still the champion, you know, Chase. He's still the Nazi champion and a real-life champion. William Byron, he was going to lose it either way with no Chase. And then Xfinity 2017, he won four races and Rookie of the Year. And then here we get to the NASCAR Cup Series 2018. It was a rough rookie season, even though he won it. It was still a rough season as a whole for Hunchy Motorsports, um, Chevy Camaro. Chevy Camaro is almost terrible. And then I remember, like, William Byron having a struggling rookie season. Of course, people were going to think he's a bust. Oh, he's not going to win races. Oh, he's not going to do well. Oh, he's just some iRacing kid that knows how to do iRacing or whatever. I don't know. Of course, there's, like, people saying bad stuff if nobody reaches expectations. If drivers don't reach their expectations, like, here's the thing. I remember the Byron backlash after struggling, and I thought it was stupid. I thought it was stupid. Like, he's a rookie. Of course it's going to take time. He's not the only one that struggled at Hendrick or at Chevy. Like, it's 2018. For Hendrick, it was bad season. The Chevy Camaro was terrible in 2018. So, what were you expecting? And then, 2019, he won the pull. 2020, he won the Daytona 400. 2021, he won Homestead. 2022, he won the first Atlanta race. And then 2023, he won six races in a championship non-chase. And I remember, like, back in... Like, after Jeff Gordon retired, uh, when Chase Elliott drove the 24, I was like, oh, they should retire the 24. Mainly because, like, nobody would top Jeff Gordon in 24. Of course, when you think of 24, of course, it's Jeff Gordon. I still prefer, like, retired numbers or, like, drivers choosing their own numbers. That's not a sign from their teams or whatever, but that's a whole can of worms. But anyway, I remember, like, for like, a couple years, I'm like, oh, the 24 should retire. And I was the same way when William Byron took over. I was like, hey, I don't know about this. Like, I don't know why they're using the Jeff Gordon adult delivery from, like, 2014, 2015. I don't know about this. They should retire the number. And then, for some reason, I just got over it. I just dealt with it and all that. And then... Got William Byron growing pains, learning curves, and got better and better every year. And guess what? William Byron is him. He's still peaking. He's still rising. He's still got this. And he's got Rudy Fugel as his crew chief, his main man since um, the truck series. Honestly, William Byron and Rudy Fugel, their duo, they are an underrated duo. Everybody talks about Kyle Larson and Cliff Daniel nowadays. But William Byron and Rudy Fugel, somebody should make a video about them. They are my favorite duo, honestly. One of my favorite duels, like nowadays for like NASCAR. And here's William Byron, a Daytona 500 champion, still rising in his career. And if you ask me, I think the 24 is in good hands. William Byron is taking care of the 24 and he is making his own story of driving the 24. The 24 is in good hands.